took this out. The stump is now removed. They took out the stump. They used that guy there to do it. Look at that thing. Holy cow. That's 5,000 gallons. That's 10 feet wide. About 9 feet tall or so. To the peak. Pretty good sized tank. Look at that thing. 5,000 gallons. Look at that. That's... I don't know the exact dimension, but that looks almost two, that looks about two feet. So a kid could get in there, huh? That would be a nice, cool little hiding place. That could be your bunker. Anyhow, so it's going to go right here. We've kind of cleared out some of the rock. You guys want to take a lunch, imagine that. And uh, it's going to go right there. Here's a tractor they've been uh, using. They used the the other part of it to dig out this the stump. And what they also did they got a trench dug here for me. Check this baby out. Look at that. Boy, that beats me digging that stuff. That stuff is just... That's clay, folks. That's Arizona dirt. It's just... We call it cleachy soil here. But look at this. It's just clay. You can't... You can't pick that stuff. You can't shovel that stuff. Well, I guess you could, but it'll take you a lifetime to do it. That there, if I were to do that myself, that would probably take me non-stop. Heck, it'll probably take me all week long. Pretty cool. I had to take this guy, put him inside, so obviously we can get some room. If you notice this section right here is a little wider they're being cool enough to make this a little wider those are my batteries to the trailer I'm going to remove those or actually miss I'm going to put those somewhere else because what I'm going to do is that's where the the propane is coming in at so it's going right there now the water and the propane cannot be in the same trench technically however well let me rephrase it can't be on top of each other it has to be a minimum of like four inches apart from each other. So what's going to happen is when we lay down the water line, it's got to be 24 inches, and that's what this is roughly. So the water line will go in here, and then, then we'll bury the water line, and we'll go up a few inches, and then to the other side will be the to the left side basically the trailer side will run the propane so you won't see it here but you'll see it over here by the barn and right here two lines running one being the propane and the other one being the water but when you lay down the propane you won't even see the water because the water will already be covered up so and get you a different angle here. That's a good sized tractor. A little bit bigger tractor than I expected. You go mound the dirt. And I'm gonna run that line right up into there and that says city water connection now the thing is this will bypass my holding tank so the goal is to empty out the holding tank and not use it 
unless I use it during the summer but there's no need to the water line coming through here is below frost line PEX line is what is recommended uh, to be used to run it from down there up and into there and then you just insulate the PEX line and you should be good to go so the only concerning part of about freezing is this little piece right there from there to there and then over at the valve of the tank and that's it the rest of it I shouldn't have to worry about freezing at all I'm not going to insulate the line it'll just be straight PEX line and covered up with dirt I might get crazy and and and, and funky and maybe put some a layer of insulation on the ground on top of the pipe or so just to I don't know just to kind of be all radical and stuff so anyhow they're at lunch right now they're gonna come back after they eat their peanut butter and jelly sandwiches I think they're just going to the bar personally but they can't say that so anyhow um, then I'll come back and I'll finish today. And over here, where'd he put this thing? He put this stump over here somewhere. I'm gonna let this stump dry out. Eventually, I'm gonna use this stump for a chainsaw up for a fur. Well, let's look at this stump. This is why they did it, not me. Look at this thing. doesn't look like much that part there was what I cut that's out of the ground but yeah he had to uh, dig off the side and cut all those roots and uh, so that was the stump they pulled out It's amazing when you have big boy tools to do the job because uh, because all I got is a pick and a shovel and a chainsaw do you know how long that will take me to do that you know renting tools or having someone do the job makes sense because yeah, you can save some money. You can save some money and go with. Save some money and do it yourself or whatever. But you know, someone else doing it. You pay them the extra money. They get it done so much faster than you could. And most of the time, their job is probably going to be cleaner than your job. And, uh,. But anyhow, so when they get back from lunch, we'll do a, we'll do another video. Probably not having them in the video. I really don't like that idea of having others in the video. And uh, so rather just do it this way. But anyhow, there we go for now. Hold on tight, and in just a few seconds, I'll show you the next section. Easy Hot Homestead. Subscribe. Comment like do it now <laughs> bye or wait hold on there's no part coming